I can remember the summer vacation of my childhood and young times of fun, lingering, and carefree joy. Childhood games, I made there were. I wanted to say no to play war games or hide and seek now or swap on a beer stool. Or maybe building a sandcastle and have it with toy soldiers and ready to defeat their masters to the last drop of their clan and blood. I went to the squad to sound the bench away for lunch. It looked like there were there wasn't much time left before it. From some time to time, pioneers passed by me. Sometimes along, sometimes in paths of groups of three. But always someone I didn't know. I mean, didn't know. Elisa, Alana, Lily, or Sylvia was nowhere to be seen. Though about the mainless subsistence was circling my brain. But this didn't... <clears throat> but this didn't worry me on such a beautiful day. To think about who could think of giving for his life. Living in fairs or loss earlier. While... But big in a big, I mean, but being in the rage of such a f friendly son, certainly not me. I looked up and Gerald, he was mentally as always. Okay. Now he definitely never gets my initially doubts. I remember my first hour in the camp and the last day before the Assumption and fear. That all seems so far away now, though so little time had passed. Will I get out of here or not? It didn't concern me as much as before. <coughs> Maybe I'm already dead. Then, then this is the last stop. Please get off the train. Oh my god. <laughs> and then this pioneer show up. Oh god. What are you... I mean, oh my god. What are you thinking about? Look up and saw the pioneer I seen before. I couldn't see his face begin that the sun was shining in my eyes. You know... I mean... You know, life... It seems he was sitting down next to me, but the pioneer stayed in the same place only a half turn, which completely killed any hopes of seeing his face. Listen, have we met earlier? I don't think I remember you. Well, let's say that you know who I am. But I don't. I laughed scarcely. Here you don't. He answered shortly. I see. Honestly, it's not like I did want to talk. I just didn't know what to talk about. And my soul was so calm, this didn't bother me. You first time here. He asked a question, but his tone immediately, he was only expecting comfort. Yes, and you? Me? He paused for a few seconds. Nah, it's not my first time here. One may say that I visited this camp every year since my early childhood. Since the answer got me interested. Like, like, come on, come on, this is a Samon. Like, this is supposed to be the protagonist, right, right? So did the, oh my god, did they actually make a person of us, you know, coming here every year since our childhood, you know? Oh my god. Well, and what was it like before? It was always the same. All the sum of being the camp leader, all the same pioneers around, all the same lineups at the morning and all these wicked accidents. For a moment, I thought it was me speaking, not him. Interesting. See? In the moment, I'm not... It's... If, 
It was the moment that he thought he was speaking and not him. Hmm? It's just that with every new, he hesitated, year, more and more interesting things happen, and one gets to understand better what's going on. What are you talking about? This conversation probably targeted my consciousness. It's a pit that I could discuss the face of this pioneer at once, and I mean, and all. Well, every season the pioneer camp remind remind of the previous one. He said calmly, "Probably, this is my first. It shows the pioneer grin, but." It Looks like it will be the last. Well, it's fun here and all, but you know how they say there's no place like home, but you still have to get back there. Now, how are Lily sure this guy was hiding something from me? He's you! To be pulled, he stood out too much from the... Too much from the camp. He usually organized. It was too different from the location in Havoc. What do you mean? You think I'm stuck here forever or something? I said unsurely every every word. It it this say like the game is breaking the fourth wall here, like every time we do a new route that shows like we're back to reality, but we're we gotta be back here every single time because we're here forever. There's no way to get out of here. Be in here have no time to answer at the lunch bell sound. Man. <laughs> Turned my head towards the loudspeaker, and by the time I looked back, the guy was already gone. Because it was me. Thousands of theories spread and totally arrived in my mind, but I stopped myself and remembered all the right nobleness of this camp. After all, nothing supernatural happened in these five days. Because you're not near the end of the camp yet. <laughs> Moreover... Everything here seems too natural, something ever boring. Maybe this pioneer didn't mean anything by that, and I just misunderstood him. Thinking that, I went to the canteen and sent to the feast. Sometimes it seems to me that lunch here is skimming to the crowd around the soap kitchen during a farm. Pioneers was running around, pushing each other. Trying to claw through for the first meal and taking the most uncomfortable table. I was going I mean, climbing steps and pace waiting for the cook to get me my... My assigned... I mean, my assigned food regularly. Okay, we still got more. For lunch today, we had Okia. Which I didn't really like. It's cute list with potatoes. Okay, that's a trade Russian cold soup. Oh. I sit in the corner and immediately rejoice that I will be able to eat in peace. By table, it was the feast from the kitchen. I could resort, hoping that the pioneers who were looking for a free place would reach it. Or would reach it last. However, when I moved on the remaining cause, Sylvia had a shriek and let try arrive from the crowd. Can we... I have nothing against your conversation. Of course. Lunch was going surprised calm, calmly. However, Electronic was in Charlie as he usually does. I finally faced the meal and scored my chair. Something needs to crap my tongue. Listen, do you know this pioneer? I saw him today, you know he so I so re realized that I don't really know how to describe him. Well, about my height, same cause cause of, hard to say from such a such a description. Sylvia so smiled. Well, we have half a camp of such guys. If it comes to that all in all, they were right. Why are you asking? It's just that I met him today. It seems like I haven't seen him before. Look, in the canteen. I don't think he's missed lunch. 
Why didn't I think of that? That's it. Okay, guys, enjoy your meal. I got up and started to slowly walk along the road to tables. Lily and Sinai are sitting over there. I give them a friendly smile. Lisa and Lara laughing eagerly about something. Olusawa is surrounded by pioneers. Good thing she didn't notice me. There are hardly any free seats, but the guy from this morning is nowhere to be seen. The situation can get more and more interesting. Look like I won't find him here. Maybe he's already at lunch. Head to the exit. 